Category 1, or CAT1, is the oldest communication cable and was designed only for voice telephone signals. It usually contains just one pair of copper wires and supports very low frequencies. This was fine for phone calls, but once computers needed faster internet, CAT1 couldn't keep up. It can barely handle data and isn't recognized in modern networking standards, since official categories start from CAT3 and above. Today, CAT1 is considered completely outdated. If you find it in old buildings, it's not suitable for internet use. For real network performance, you should upgrade to at least CAT5e or CAT6. Category 2, or CAT2, was an upgrade from basic telephone wiring and could carry both voice and very early data signals. It usually came with four twisted pairs of copper wires, which helped reduce interference at the time. CAT2 was mainly used in old networking systems like ARCnet and 4 megabit token ring, and it only supports speeds up to about 4 megabits at 4 megahertz. Far too slow for modern internet. It was never officially approved by networking standards like the TIA-EIA, so it wasn't designed for real Ethernet use. Today, CAT2 is completely outdated and shouldn't be used for internet connections. Modern networks start at CAT5e or higher for reliable speed and performance. In short, CAT2 was a small upgrade in the past, but it's not useful anymore. Category 3, or CAT3, was used in the early 1990s for telephone lines and the first slow computer networks. It supports speeds up to 10 megabits per second with a 16 megahertz frequency, and it was the first cable officially standardized for basic Ethernet. Inside CAT3, you'll find twisted pairs of copper wires. These twists help reduce electrical noise and interference. If wires are not twisted, called untwisted, signals can leak or get mixed, causing slow or unstable connections. So twisting was a simple but smart improvement. CAT3 can run up to 100 meters, a distance limit that future Ethernet cables still use. Today it's outdated for modern internet speeds and is mostly found in older buildings for voice systems or simple security devices. In short, CAT3 was great in its time, but it's far too slow for modern networking and should be replaced with CAT5e or better. Category 4, or CAT4, was an old twisted pair cable used in early computer networks. It supported speeds up to 16 megabits at 20 megahertz, which was good enough for older systems like Token Ring and some basic Ethernet setups. Like the cables before it, CAT4 used four twisted pairs of copper wires to help reduce interference. However, CAT4 quickly became outdated once faster networking standards arrived. It's no longer recognized by modern cabling specifications and can't meet today's speed requirements, where one gigabit is considered normal. In simple terms, CAT4 was useful decades ago, but it has no place in modern networking today. Category 5, or CAT5, is an older type of twisted pair Ethernet cable that was once popular in home and office networks. It supports network speeds up to 100 megabits at 100 megahertz, which was considered fast at the time. CAT5 uses four twisted pairs of copper wires to help reduce interference and usually ends with the common RJ45 connector. CAT5 cables were used to connect things like computers, routers, game consoles, and IP cameras. They can also provide power over Ethernet if properly rated. The maximum recommended cable length is 100 meters to avoid signal loss. Today, CAT5 has been replaced by CAT5e and is considered outdated for new installations. Modern networks demand faster and more reliable performance, so CAT5 is no longer recommended if you're building or upgrading a network. Category 5e, or 5e Enhanced, is one of the most common twisted pair Ethernet cables used today and was designed to support speeds up to 1 gigabit per second. It operates at 100 megahertz, just like regular CAT5, but with stricter rules to reduce crosstalk, which improves signal quality and stability. Cat 5e typically uses the standard RJ45 connector and can run up to 100 meters in length without losing performance. It's backward compatible with older CAT5 and CAT3 equipment, making it easy to use in older installations. While CAT5e is still great for most home and small office networks, many people now choose CAT6 for even higher performance. CAT6 is a faster and more advanced version of CAT5e, offering speeds up to 10 gigabits on shorter distances and 1 gigabit up to 100 meters. It operates at a higher 250 megahertz bandwidth, allowing it to move more data with less interference. CAT6 cables use four tightly twisted copper pairs and often include a plastic divider to reduce crosstalk and signal noise, giving them better stability. 
They use the same RJ45 connector and are backward compatible with older standards, making upgrades easy. Because of its improved performance and reliability, CAT6 is a recommended choice for modern home and office networks. CAT6A, or CAT6 Augmented, is an improved Ethernet cable standard that supports 10 gigabit speeds over the full 100 meter distance. It offers double the bandwidth of CAT6 at 500 megahertz and provides much better protection against interference and alien crosstalk. CAT6A cables are thicker and stiffer due to tighter twists and optional shielding, which makes them harder to install in tight spaces. They use the same RJ45 connectors and are fully backward compatible with CAT6 and CAT5E systems. CAT6A is ideal for high-speed, reliable networks in homes, offices, and data-heavy environments. CAT7, or CAT7, is a high-performance Ethernet cable standard defined by ISO IEC Class F for extremely demanding networking environments like data centers. It supports speeds up to 10 gigabits over 100 meters and can reach even higher rates, 40 gigabits at 50 meters and 100 gigabits at very short runs in controlled conditions. With a bandwidth of up to 600 megahertz and heavy SFTP shielding on each pair, it offers excellent protection against interference and alien crosstalk. Unlike CAT5E or CAT6, CAT7 uses special connectors such as GG45 or Terra instead of the common RJ45. While it can work with older equipment, full performance requires CAT7 rated connectors in hardware. Today, CAT6A is often preferred due to better compatibility and lower installation difficulty. CAT7A is an upgraded networking cable standard defined by ISO IEC Class FA designed for speeds beyond standard 10 gigabit applications. Its biggest improvement over CAT7 is bandwidth, jumping from 600 MHz to a full 1000 MHz or 1 GHz. It can deliver 10 gigabits over 100 meters, and in controlled lab tests, it has shown potential for 40 gigabits at 50 meters and even 100 gigabits at very short runs. To handle its high frequencies, CAT7A uses heavy SFTP shielding on each twisted pair plus an overall shield, making the cable thicker and more difficult to install. It also relies on specialized connectors like GG45 or Terra instead of standard RJ45, which limits compatibility. Because of this and the lack of official recognition by the USTIA, CAT7A never became common in homes or offices. For most future-proof setups, CAT6A or CAT8 are more practical and widely supported choices. CAT8 is the newest copper Ethernet cable standard officially recognized by the TIA and is built for extremely high-performance environments like data centers. It supports blazing fast speeds of 25 and 40 gigabits, operating at frequencies up to 2,000 megahertz, far beyond older cable categories. To maintain these speeds, CAT8 is limited to a maximum distance of about 30 meters. Anything longer at those rates usually requires fiber optics. It also uses heavy shielding to block interference and preserve signal quality at its high frequencies. The good news is that CAT8 still uses standard RJ45 connectors, so it's backward compatible with previous Ethernet hardware. While you could technically run CAT8 at home, most consumer devices and internet plans can't take advantage of its extreme speeds. For realistic future-proofing, CAT6A is usually the smarter and cheaper choice. And with that, we've officially reached the top of the Ethernet food chain. Everything from humble telephone wiring to high-speed data center monsters. Now you know exactly what's hiding behind your network port. Subscribe to my channel if you learned something helpful. See you in the next Explain.